we we do understand very well how the whole universe has evolved and how it got to be the way it is. And we understand that things on the other side of the universe look in a particular way. And so it's not just about things, how things look like right here. It's it's how we connect with all of those different things. Mm. And so if there was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe we can get you up there for a month though. We'll find yeah, somebody. Okay, do that. Do yeah, that. we'll work on it. I'll okay. see who keeps sitting okay. in this seat. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do find that. Out. Do that. Do that. Yeah. But you know, th- there's also you know, not just across podcasting, but across the whole internet, it's a question that people look at all the time, which is, all right, what else is out there? Yeah, you know, we have yeah. intelligent life here. We have humankind and a lot of other biological species. And then we look in our own solar system and. You know, there's some where it's like, all right, there could be a little life on that Mm -hmm. planet right there, Mm -hmm. but there's Mm -hmm. nothing that shows that there's, you know, a species like us living here. But then we know we're a part of a galaxy, which is a part of a universe. It's potentially infinite in size, which means that the probability mathematically that there is some other form of intelligent life out there is is very, very strong. And, you know, if you ask me, it's I'm like, well, it's got to be like 100 percent. But it's a whole separate question when you start talking about you know, well, have they been to this solar system yeah, or yeah, have yeah. they oh, been to yes. our planet yeah, or anything? Yeah, yeah. Do you uh, view yeah. that as any possibility that that could have happened? Have they been so far? Yeah. Well, we haven't really seen anything. We haven't really seen any evidence. I think the probability that there's something else out there is is really high. But now when you account for the fact that they need to communicate with us. And they need to be living within a time frame that makes it possible for them to communicate with us. It's of course there's life on Earth, but actually we only been living on Earth for a very very short amount That's of time. Right. And so now you imagine we need to coincide with another life being within the right amount of time and also in the right distance, so that it can that can be possible. It, it's just the distances are so, so large. And hmm. I don't think we can travel faster than the speed of light. So it takes a long, long time. We to, can. No, we can. But I don't think, I don't think anyone can. I don't. Th- so I'm very open to there being another civilization out there in here, in this room of dark matter that I'm very open to. But for them to travel faster than the speed of light, I don't see how this is possible. My pushback without any real, you know, scientific expertise, obviously, would just be in a general form of how could we know that if we're only operating with the knowledge that we know here? Like you're at the highest, you're at the tip of the spear at this, the highest level. But hypothetically, you know, the greatest scientists we have on this earth right now could be the ants to some other civilization that's like, ah, speed of light, we figured that shit out fucking a thousand (laughs) billion years ago. So please... Prove us wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be amazing. That, and I think you can find, you can you can do other things. You can find shortcuts. You can find other ways. But traveling faster than the speed of light, it's not that we only understand what is happening out here, right here, right now. We, we do understand very well how the whole universe has evolved and how it got to be the way it is. And we understand that things on the other side of the universe look in a particular way. And so it's not just about things, how things look like right here. It's it's how we connect with all of those different things. Mm. And so if there was anything else I had discovered or find a way, or even if they hadn't found a way, but if there was a possibility of traveling faster than the speed of light, the consequences of that would not just be little subtle things that we haven't yet discovered. They, they, will, they would have a huge impact in our understanding of the structure of everything. Oh, yeah. So... So it's very difficult to reconcile that with everything else we understand. We would have to change completely all of our understanding of physics if it was possible to travel faster than the speed of light to an amount which is actually useful. Um, And no one, us right here, but no imprint on any galaxy, no imprint on anything else, on any of the temperature of the sky, on anything else would have been discovered. Wait, why is why wouldn't it have been discovered? Oh, be, because being able to travel faster than the speed of light, yeah. even ever so slightly, 
enables you to being able to travel backwards in time as well. You can you can tr- start right. doing all sorts Manipulate. of different different things, and so it opens a whole new realm of possibilities. And the ways we are thinking about uh, the laws of quantum probabilities, for instance, and how they add up together, and all sorts of things, they rely on um, they, they rely on some laws of of physics and what I like to call unitarity, they rely on some guiding principle that does require s- some guiding principle like like not being able to travel back in time. Theoretically, though. This is yeah, no, stri- no, 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 absolutely. What I'm yeah. about to say, ah, though, yeah. this is strictly theoretical. If we were operating in a scenario where I'll even say our full universe, not even just galaxies, but let's just go crazy and say that you, the universe were actually some sort of created reality of a higher species. Yeah. Yeah. Where whereby they created the speed of light. So that's nothing to them. Yeah. Right? Then yeah. hypothetically, if that were the species who were somehow then <laughs> sucking down into this world that they created and yeah. like morphing yeah. in almost yeah, like yeah, what's yeah. up fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it could be yeah. possible. But it what you're saying, if I'm understanding it correctly, is it would have to be something like that rather than something emanating from within that, maybe even our what, galaxy. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. But okay. in that case, I, I might as well, I'm just doodling in that, in that case. And we all, all our scientific reality is just doodling because it, it, it would just mean that we're trying to find patterns, but those patterns, they're nothing to do with anything real. They've just been what the computer programmers have set up so far. Right. And because... They decided so, and at any given point, they can change the variables, and it's going to be completely different. And so, everything that we learn, there's no, there's no logic to it, and you may as well just disappear. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> <laughs> my brain is is melted from today. But Claudia, I love having people like you in here because you have a beautiful mind, and the way you it look at fun. the world is is so cool, and and obviously incredibly meta. For guys like us who aren't in there testing the theory of gravity every it single day. It was fun. It was fun. Thanks but, a lot. But thank you for coming and, and for changing thank your you. schedule thanks. to be here. Thanks, thanks. But we will have the link to your book yeah. down below that yeah. came out last year, I think, right? Yeah. 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 And you go through your whole story with yeah. gravity yeah. And, yeah. and everything yeah. there. But yeah. we're going to have to do this again at some point. You're, that was fun. That really was fun. Awesome. Let's do it in outer space. And then we can, I would, we can oh, try it also. We're going to call things. up Jeff and make it happen. Yes. All right. I got him on speed Amazing. dial. Yeah, do that. <laughs> All right. Thank Great, you so thank much, you. Claudia. Thanks, thanks. All right, everybody else, you know what it is. Give it a thought. Get back to me. Peace. Thank you guys for checking out this clip. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. It is a huge, huge help. And if you'd like to check out this clip's full podcast episode, that link is in the description below or right here. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram and X by using the links in my description below.